Hi. Hello. Please introduce yourself. I'm Steven de Dant. I'm the operational manager of iMac IC Link, so I'm responsible for the technical uh, operation of chip services. Anything from design to supply chain of ASICs, application specific ICs. So, so what's the latest technology you're showing here? Uh, we are able to provide customers with 3 nanometer t uh, technology, which is the latest technology from TSMC. We're a broker for TSMC, a value chain alliance partner. How do you make it work so small? Uh, well, <laughs> TSMC makes it work so small. Um, but, well, but they are a partner of IMEC. IMEC is a research organization in, uh, based in Leuven, Belgium, and some other parts of uh, Belgium and the world, um, where we do research on new transistor concepts, new materials, new ways to make it work. So we're actually helping the foundries to make it work. I personally don't know too much about it because I'm using the technology to make to, uh, to make chips, to make functionality, and we abstract the smallness of everything to do that, obviously. What, what are you showing here? Uh, this is, uh, we're on our booth now at uh, Better World, and well, it's it's hard to show things that are really interesting, but this, this thing is a mask of a mask set of a TSMC um, chip, several chips, you can see several chips on the mask. There's a, in this te technology, I think there's 36 masks that are used to, to create chips on wafers, like uh, the one that we, we have here. This is one that comes out of our research fab. It doesn't have a, a, a product chip on there, it's a, it's a test structures. So there's a mask before the wafer? So there's several masks that are used in a process that where it's layer upon layer upon layer upon layer that is creating the, 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 the transistors and the interconnect between all those transistors. And somehow the mask is square and the wafer is round? How do they, where, in which part that's of the... the... That's the way it is. No, no, the, ma the mask, what is on the mask is repeated on, on the, the wafer. You can see that pattern here as well. So light is sh shown through the mask on the wafer, that it, where this photo resists on the wafer, and it's the, the mask is stepped, as we call it, over the wafer. So the same pattern is coming back many times. So there's many, many chips on one wave. Uh, but why do you have uh, six by s well, five this is, here? This is what, we, what, what you see here is the reticle of the wafer. And for this chip, we were able to put it several times in there so that we can get more chips from a wafer. It's optimizing the area, the silicon area, and the cost hands. Uh, a very good mask on the three nanometer tech cost millions and millions and millions of It's a of set euros, of masks right? in the 3 nanometer, it's in the order of 50, 60 masks, something like that. And, well, yeah, it costs... That's a lot of money. Many millions. And, and somehow, <laughs> this mask has zero defects or something. Like, uh, uh, yeah. like when you need to be very reliable when you make chips. Mask, with mask writing of is a very important part of, of chip making. So, yeah, there should not be any defects on the mask because otherwise every defect will translate into a wrong chip. How do uh, your colleagues and yourself uh, have the capacity to design something so complicated that just works? As I said, works? we're abstracting. It's by using abstraction. It's by, by not looking at transistors anymore but at logic gates and not looking at logic gates anymore but at building blocks. That's the only way we as humans can grasp the, the millions and millions and millions of transistors that there are on one chip. Is it a game of software and the software just takes care of it? Or do you have to... <laughs> that, oh, we, we wish. <laughs> There's a lot of software. And the software takes care of a lot, of course. You cannot place every single transistor in a multi-billion transistor chip, of course. There's a lot of software help. There's a lot of pre-built made blocks. But the human in that process is very important. We have to know what we're doing. We have to know the goals. That we, we call it uh, PPA, um, optimization, power, performance, and area. And that, that's a human thing. I mean, there's, there are tools that are in, integrating AI as well in this process. They're pretty new. Um, but, but still, the human is still the factor, right? Uh, 
I won't be able to zoom in on, on three nanometer. I don't know if this is not three nanometer. But, but uh, <laughs> the, the way they are designed, it's when you look as with a human eye, it kind of looks random, right? But you have to take care, think of heat dissipation around the chip, like put things in the right place so they don't. Uh, There's many things to take care of. It's like the, the, the power mesh on the chip, for example, all the. Uh, all the transistors in the chip or all the gates in the chip have to have the right voltage or, uh, everywhere in the middle and at the edges to be able to work within the right timing. And if that's not the case, your chip will not work. Or it will not work intermittently, which is even worse. And when you do the right design, the yield is going to be great and better and better as they get used to it over there in the fab. Uh, the, the yield is mostly related to the, the process itself and the layout of the chip. It's a, they work together. So you have to make a, a, a layout that is that yields very well. Uh, but then there the tools help as well. At the, at, at the end, just before you're taping out, as we call it, uh, go, go to production, then um, we do a check, which is a design rule check, which yeah, helps you to show that you're design is producible with a good yield. Um, how would you define your role at uh, IMEC? Uh, are you very much working together with the EDA industry or your diff different, what is your... Well, we, we obviously we are using EDA tools and IMEC is working together with EDA companies also on the creation of new, new knowledge in that field. Uh, um, we, we are users of EDA. And we work with the whole ecosystem of uh, designers, uh, foundries, packaging houses, all sorts as we call them, um, failure analysis companies, etc. So what kind of discussions you have here at the Embedded World, what people come to ask you about? Oh, it's, it's nice to see a lot of people after Corona, um, where we talk about future uh, possible projects, new people, or new customers that are coming with ideas to, to, to create new chips. Um, partners that we haven't seen in a while, uh, the design uh, partners, EDA companies. That's There's a lot of the themes like the edge and IoT and low, low power microcontrollers and everything. And you have, you have a role to play in all these different things. Uh, we help those companies make their chips. Um, for us, it doesn't really matter which application it is, but obviously you see some applications being more sought after than, than others. Yeah, there are these uh, things that are hot. We, I, I like AI, for example. All right. Yeah, that's one uh, new thing they did. To bring Because there's so many, when you have three nanometers, there's so much space on your chip, and they yeah. just put neural uh, they put the AI and stuff on the big part of the chip now, like to take advantage of all these the space, right? right? Uh, Maybe. I, um, I, don't, I, I don't think it's more like that. But with chip, the, the, the silicon real estate is defining your cost. Uh, how big the chip is greatly defines your cost. So putting something on there just because you have the, the area, I haven't seen it happen really. All right, cool. Okay, but thanks yeah. a lot. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.